Well, this little girl is not even two years old, and she has already done something hardly anyone in the world has done. She survived a surgery before she was even born. And new tonight at 10, Laura Lemanchek reports Minnesota is only one of a handful of places where her story is even possible. She's rambunctious and energetic. Alexa Mendoza is a climber. She is a lot of fun. Not surprising, since she's been on an uphill fight since before she was even born. Her birth announcement was typical. Big brother Jackson holding a perfectly normal ultrasound photo. Mom Christy and dad Gus were elated. But by the next ultrasound. Just to confirm, hey, it's a girl, everything looks great. And at 19 weeks. It was completely not on our radar to expect any problems, let alone this really rare thing we had never heard of. That rare thing, a tumor, fast growing, aggressive and big. But you can see this is a massive tumor hanging off the lower spine. A third the size of the tiny fetus. By 23 weeks, the tumor was about uh, one and a half times the size of Alexa. Stealing life as she was trying to grow. It was really, really quite devastating. Dr. Joseph Lilligard laid out the family's options. We had a difficult decision to make. We can um, accept that this is a very substantial problem that um, uh, would lead to fetal demise, the loss of Alexa, or we gave um, the Mendoza family a chance at a fetal intervention. We figured she was in there fighting and we decided to fight with her. The procedure is risky, done in only the most extreme circumstances and at only a few hospitals, including Children's Minnesota. It's been done roughly a dozen times around the world. Dr. Lilligard and a team at the Midwest Fetal Care Center would perform open fetal surgery, a procedure opening the uterus and exposing the developing baby to remove the tumor. For weeks you see their anxiety as it builds. Um, and their hope and expectations. Um, so yeah, I mean, you, you, you're, you're acutely aware of how important and how serious this is. <laughs> Christy and Gus also made another decision. They gave baby Mendoza her name. They were saving Alexa. For the five hour procedure, Christy recalled the words of a nurse. And told me just remember your connection with Alexa. Think of Alexa, think of your love for her. And Gus. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Prayed, later telling the doctor. And I prayed for God's hands to guide your hands during the surgery. And he said, I'm glad it went better than expected. So what you did helped us out as well. Baby Alexa returned to her mother's womb to grow for five more weeks. Getting to that 29 week mark made all the difference. In a sense, her mom says she was born twice. We did celebrate the one year anniversary of her fetal surgery as kind of her first entrance into the world. We call it her sneak peek day. A sneak peek at the milestones ahead. One of the things Dr. Lilligard always told us was that he was going to do everything he could to make this like it never happened. Are you there yet? I think we're really close. I think we're really close. Tumor free, crawling, talking, trying to walk. You going to dance up there? This girl is so strong, so brave. And yes, still climbing. Lauren Lemanchek, CARE 11 News. Mm. The Mendozas count their blessings, and one of those blessings they say is that they live here in the Twin Cities where there were experts close to home who could save Alexa's life.